feel like you uh, capped it off with a, a pretty good day today? Um, I feel like my spring went it went pretty good. There's a, there are some times where it could have been better, you know, but that's just with anybody, you have your, your off days. But I feel like the spring game, I mean, I really stepped up and really showed that all the hard work's going to pay off. Mike, you and the defense were able to shut out uh, the gold team and really limited them offensively. What do you credit that to? Uh, credit it to the hard work on uh, both sides of the ball and the preparation with the coaches. We really knew what we were doing out there, and we just took advantage with our technique and everything. We uh, really wanted to make sure that we didn't let them back in the game coming out of halftime. And uh, I like to say with the help of the linebackers and the secondary, we were able to keep the quarterback to hold the ball, which allowed us to get back there. Uh, can, you, can you talk about how you played today? Um, I felt like I pretty played great, but um, it was because of the offensive line. Like they had a mindset of coming to the game that we was gonna rush for over 300 yards. That's what they told me, and I was right along with them. But it's just the mindset of all the, the the whole team. The whole team was just ready to play. They they were just ready to go out there and just dominate. And like I said, credit to the coaches. They taught us everything, and we just let our technique take over. Rob, how is it more your role now to take some of these younger quarterbacks under your wing and, and help them along, players like Danny? Um, well, I mean, we're all kind of learning right now. We're, we're all um, freshmen to the system, so we're all helping each other out um, on a daily basis and uh, you know, just trying to get better and, and trying to, to learn and, and make the team uh, as good as we can. Uh, so we're all learning from each other. Um, maybe me with some experience, uh, I might... Um, you know, be able to, to tell them things that I've seen in the past, but um, but when you get into when you get into the season, you prepare on a week to week basis. So uh, so we're all learning right now, and um, I think we're getting better. And Coach Shoup's doing a great job. No doubt about that. Hakeem, obviously, in the draft day, there was some trash talking against you personally. <laughs> Are you motivated by those kind of things? I mean, obviously, with only two running backs on your roster today, you knew you were going to get a lot of carries. Um, yeah, I was motivated when they said that because I, I know what type of player I am. But it's just the team, like, they, they do that to motivate me, and they know what type of player I am. And really, we're just trash talking, just to trash talk. That's what we do to each other, make each other better, knowing that we're still a team and we're just playing against each other to make each other better for the future. How motivated are you to become that physical type running back? I'm really motivated. I'm day in and day out. I'm doing push-ups. If I'm out in the weight room, I'm doing push-ups, taking protein shakes, trying to get bigger, but keep my speed. I just want to be every down back, running between the tackles instead of doing the speed, speed sweeps. And just the progress the offensive line made in, in that regard of becoming maybe a more physical offensive line. Yes, yeah, sir. Like I said, the offense, they did great today. They um, opened up big holes for me to run through. If they keep doing that, they're going to have a great season. Rob, motivated to make sure Panthal's prediction came true? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it did. You know, we did take advantage of some of the opportunities that we had, um, especially um, on that first drive there. Uh, we should have put it in there, and, and then we ended up missing the field goal, which I mean, you can probably blame that on the quarter. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you know, we, we have to be able to finish drives, and that's one thing that um, – we, we missed out on a little bit last Saturday as well in the scrimmage. Um, we didn't finish drives the way we're going to need to when we start playing um, in, in August and in September. And, and Coach Hayes always talks about November. We, we have to be able to finish. And um, you know, we, we left some points out on the board, and I'm sure both teams would say that. Um, so we, we definitely have to improve in that area. There are a lot of guys who don't have a lot of game experience that really have gotten a chance this spring. What do you think of that group as a whole? Uh, I think we're very talented. Um, I think we need to continue to learn and continue to um, to get better in our route running. And then obviously um, we have to we have to finish plays, and, and that's kind of a uh, it goes along with, with being a quarterback too. You know, we have to put the ball in the right spot, and, and they have to catch it. So um, um, I think we have a lot of talent there, a lot of playmaking ability, and a lot of fast guys. So um, very confident in our receivers. And I really look forward to the fall and, and, and working with them this summer and, and, uh, and seeing them have big years this fall. 
Uh, Michael, just first of all, the, the interception that you got, and just kind of take us through that. And obviously, you were hoping to score. <laughs> uh, <coughs> when the ball popped out, and I saw it in my eyes, got really big. And, uh, <laughs> I caught it, luckily, and then once from there, you know, it was kind of like a blur. <laughs> I didn't know which way to go. I just saw a crowd of people on the ground. I figured I had to jump over them. I saw some, some of my teammates in front of me. I'm like, all right, I played enough video games to know that you got to be behind the blockers. So I tried to stay behind them and try to get to the end zone. But it turned out as well as it could, so I'm happy about it. And just uh, talk to you earlier about getting the reps with, with Bruce and Brandon and, 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 and Isaac out. But now that you're at the end of spring, just how do you feel about uh, the reps that you got, and just how much, how much better you you have improved this spring. Uh, I feel okay with it. Although there's a lot more room for improvement, and there always will be. Um, I feel like I've got enough reps and need to continue to work hard and to increase my motivation on the field and off the field to make sure that I become the best player that I possibly can be. Spirit and uh, chemistry and things that you've experienced this spring. Uh, it was it was a lot more up tempo. Um, um, there was a lot of, of uh, a sense of urgency um, every day. I mean, part of that was because there was a new system and we all had to learn it and, and go out and, and rep it. Um, and then um, just the overall demand, I know specifically from, from Coach Shoup that was placed on the quarterbacks, um, was something that, um, something that we all needed and something that really um, helped us progress um, during during the practices that we had this spring, so um, it was it was great. It was great. It really was. Do an every down type running back to you than he has in the past, and you know how valuable do you think he can be if he is in that role this fall? Well, I mean, personally, just to, I'm being completely honest with you. I never looked at Akeem as not being an every down back because Akeem, um, you know, despite maybe not being the, the biggest guy on the field, he always runs hard. And uh, that's something that that I've always thought, um, you know, made you a good player. He's, he's always full speed. He's never hesitant. You know, sometimes you'll get a back that's maybe 250 pounds, but it's kind of, you know, kind of tiptoes into the hole. And Akeem's never done that. He always runs full speed, and and he always seems to uh, seems to, to to fall forward. You know, so uh, I've always looked at Akeem as an every down back, and, and he's going to be a great player for us this fall. Coach Taylor was kind of touched on this, and he, he spoke to us about it. And uh, the one thing that Mr. Offside uh, really focused on is, is our opportunity. And um, earlier this week, I had an opportunity to go and listen to Eric Thomas, uh, who's a motivational speaker. Uh, he came into the room and spoke, and that's, that's something that he harped on as well. And, um, you know, all of us here, I know my going on five years, have gone by really, really fast. So that the window of, of opportunity is, is so short and you have to take advantage of every opportunity that you have. You know, every day you have practice, every evening when, when you get done with school work and you're able to get in the play, but you have to do those things. Um, so that when, you know, when Saturdays come in the fall and you have those opportunities, um, you know that you're, you're well prepared and you're ready to take advantage of it. So the, you know, with the, with the, uh, the alumni coming back, um, we all know that the rich, the rich history that the dude has and, and those guys, you know, going on and being successful. And so hearing it from those guys is, is definitely motivation for us heading into summer and getting ready for the fall. One more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Daryl, 